Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Chapter 23, Gauss Law, problem number 13. The electric field in a certain region of Earth's atmosphere is direct, directed vertically downward. So, electric field is vertically downward. At an altitude of 300 meters, uh, the field has a magnitude of 60 Newton per coulomb. And uh, at an altitude of uh, 200 meters, the magnitude is 100 Newton per coulomb. Find the net amount of charge contained in the cube 100 meter on edge uh, with horizontal faces at altitudes of 200 meters and 300 meters. So we have, uh, this is an imaginary cube in the atmosphere. Uh, the lower face of the cube is at an altitude of 200 meters and upper face of the cube is at an altitude of uh, uh, 300 meters. And feel magnitudes are given. At an altitude of 300 meters, field is 60 Newton per coulomb. So here field is 60 Newton per coulomb. And at this altitude of 200 meters, field is 100 Newton per coulomb. Okay, field is 100 Newton per coulomb. And both uh, uh, at both places, field is directed vertically downward. Okay, field is directed vertically downward. Uh, this cube we have imagined lower face at 200 meters, upper face at 300 meters, edge length is uh, 100 meters, not centimeters, 100 meters, 100 meters. So we have to find out charge enclosed by the cube. So again simple, we'll first find out flux through the cube, uh, net flux through the cube and then we'll find out charge enclosed in the cube. Now uh, remember field is directed downward, so field lines Feel the lines, if we draw some of them here, feel the lines from the upper face are going inward. So flux will be negative. So inward flux, negative. And feel the lines will be coming outward from the lower face. So flux will be positive. So for the upper face, flux will be uh, uh, negative. And for the lower face, flux will be positive. For the other faces, flux is zero. Other faces, front face, feel is directed vertically downward. So feel the lines are parallel to the face. So no feeler line is crossing through it. If no feeler line is, line is crossing through it, that means flux is zero. Same goes for the right face. Field is vertically downward. So field is parallel to the face. Okay, parallel feeler lines are parallel to the face. So no feeler line is crossing through it. Crossing would mean coming from one side and going through the other side. This is crossing. If feeler line is parallel, it won't cross through it. So flux is zero. Left face flux is zero. Back face flux is zero. Flux will be only contributed by top face and the bottom face. And for the top face, flux is inward, so negative. And for the bottom face, flux is outward, so positive. So uh, let's start then. Flux through the cube is equal flux through the top face plus flux through the bottom face. Flux through the top face. Field is uniform, so simply E into A. E into A, but negative because this is inward flux. Okay, field is inward, direction of area is outward uh, along the outward normal. So this is negative. So this for the top face plus E into A for the bottom face. Now this flux is positive. Field at the upper face is 60 Newton per coulomb. So 60 into area is side length is 100, so 100 square plus. E for the bottom face is uh, 100 Newton per coulomb, so 100 into area is again 100 square, okay, 100 square. So uh, this implies uh, flux through the cube is equal to 100 square, 100 square, so 10 to the power 2 will take common. So this is minus 60 plus 100 into 10 to the power 2, 100 to the power 2, okay, which is 10 to the power 4. 10 to the power 4. So 100 minus 60 is 40. 40 into 10 to the power 4. This implies flux through the cube is equal to 4 into 10 to the power 5 Newton meter square per coulomb. This is flux through the cube. Okay, flux through the cube. Then see net flux is positive. Net flux is positive. Now charge enclosed by the cube, we'll use Gauss law for that. Charge enclosed, charge enclosed is epsilon 0 times flux through the cube. 
epsilon 0 is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 in SI system and the flux through the cube we just found is 4 into 10 to the power 5. So 4 into 10 to the power 5 again in SI system. So this I have already worked out comes out to be 3.54 3.54 into 10 to the power minus 6, yes, minus 6 coulombs, which is to say charge enclosed is 3.54 micro coulombs. So charge enclosed by this cube, by this imaginary cube in the atmosphere is 3.54 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs or 3.54 micro coulombs. Is that fine? That will do for this session.